you're locked in with the innovators. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. What's going on? You locked in with the Innovators YouTube. You already know I got the best interviews right here, man. I got Kai Bands in the studio, Fairfield in the building. What up? Yeah, what's good with my nigga, man? You know we have to come down here and come f with it. How you doing today? Cool, cool, man. You know, chilling. It's hot as hell out here for sure. Man, it's hella hot. <laughs> hella hot outside. Um, I want to get into this because I see you traveling. You've been getting around. Um, you was in like Columbia. We was in Columbia, right? Hell yeah. How was that? That shit was cool. I ain't gonna lie. That shit, you feel me? That's vibes for real. Like, niggas be needing to go OT for real, you feel me? Yeah. Get out the way, see some new shit for real. That should be player. Has traveling, like, always been something that you wanted to do? Or, like, what made you, well, like, what makes the, like, most niggas from the Bay probably never even thought about doing oh, that like mamas. that. You feel me? Nah, that shit really wasn't in mind for real. It's just nigga, nigga travel one time. You feel me? With the OGs and nigga. Ever since then, nigga, like, that shit, feel me? That shit nice for real. Nigga got to get out the way one time and see the world. Yeah. It's more shit than just, you feel me? Would yeah. it be out here? Yeah, not real shit. Uh, can you talk about the sticky, icky bubble gum? Oh, mamas. <laughs> nigga got that za in the air, you feel me? Oh, mamas, that's that sticky, icky. I got to try icky. some of that. Oh, I got to bring that down. Nigga, <laughs> niggas got to re-up on that. But, yeah, that's that za, you feel me, sticky, icky? You feel me? That's that bubble I gum. I that. I was like, that's okay. That's that shit. Oh, mamas. <laughs> that's that za. Um, this also some shit I seen on the internet when I was looking through it earlier. Um, this is this is like some shit that went viral. It's just like uh, it says, "Would you take five hundred thousand dollars or a dinner with Jay Z?" I'm taking a five hundred thousand. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't <laughs> well, I gonna lie. Too. That nigga Jay Z ain't gonna show you how to make five hundred. <laughs> well, For <see>. sure. <laughs> Niggas was like, I'll take two hundred thousand over the. I was like, oh, mama, so I was I'll like, cause you know, the dinner don't guarantee that you finna make that money. You oh feel me? God, you might just be tapped in with bro. You not gonna really. You might not see the bag though. Yeah. Uh, can you talk about uh, what was it like growing up in Fairfield? Shit, Fairfield, you feel me? It's, it's cool to me. It was like shit, boring for me, whatever. But that shit was cool though. Like nigga, niggas be sleep on Fairfield though. But shit. It's just like anything else, you feel me? Like, nigga, a lot of niggas from, feel me, if you ain't lived out there, you might have moved up out there, so it'd be fake hella niggas up out there, but, nigga, it's smooth. It's just like anything else, you feel me? Nigga, you got this saucy niggas, player niggas, OGs, yeah. hustlers, whatever you want to call it, you feel me? But if you know, you know, for real. I, I just feel like it get overlooked, and people try to, like, downplay it. Oh, mama's that part. Niggas be sleeping on the field for real, but yeah. I'm going to wake him up, though. But, yeah, it's people like you that's like, okay. Oh, mama, just <laughs> it's, some, you feel it's, me. Some, it's clearly some saucy niggas coming oh, out. Oh, mama's like, you feel me? You just, if you know, you know type shit, you feel me? But niggas, niggas for sure, know. How did you grow up? Uh, were your parents around? What was that like? Yeah, I had, uh, I had my OG, you feel me? My deuce was around. Nigga, you feel me? Regular shit. They keep a nigga head on straight. Shout out to fam, but yeah, you know the regular little shit. Niggas just thugging out there. Yeah. Was your dad around? Yeah, I had OG around. He was keeping the nigga head on straight, you yeah. feel me? And as far as, like, does Fairfield got gang, gangs or, like, what is, what's it like out there? Nah, yeah, it got gangs for sure. You got niggas out there turned for real, you feel me? Like blood and crip or, like, what? Nah, it ain't no blood and crip for real, but you feel me? It's, it got this little shit going on, yeah. little politics. You know, everybody got their politics going on. But ain't no blood and crips, though, you feel me? But How you feel about, uh, we've been seeing this on YouTube a lot. It's been causing a lot of controversy. Uh, the gang war videos. Have you have you seen any of those? Yeah, I be seeing some of them, you is, feel is, me? Is that, you think that's cool? Is that considered snitching? Like, man, I ain't gonna lie. Them niggas, you feel me, from one little one I seen on the internet, that shit, uh, you feel me? Niggas be, some niggas talking too much, some niggas saying what they say, but feel me? Nigga, it just be, you know how I get down, that shit be real for real, nigga. Yeah. I just be like, damn, y'all niggas, like, I don't know. My thing is just the average nigga won't know all that information. Like, yeah, sometimes you... it just seems like, damn, these are these are so a lot of niggas. A lot of times niggas are getting brought up that ain't even really famous like that. So yeah, like, so it's like, how it's you know this nigga name? name for like, surely. <laughs> it's that street shit. The streets talk. If you know, you know. If you not, yeah. then you are an outsider looking in type shit. Also, uh, EDD just ended. <laughs> So, you know, we're going to see. Uh, so a lot of people might start to slow down right now. A lot now. of people to slow down. <laughs> how you mama. feel about that? Man, I ain't going to lie. How I feel, you feel me? 
It ain't just over yet, though. I'm going to say that. <laughs> you feel me? Nigga, fuck with the look. But nah, I mean, shit. If you booming off the Eddie and Eddie, you going crazy. I don't knock no hustle. You feel yeah. me? As long as you got a bag. Yeah. But niggas who really relying on that shit, like, you feel me? You got to do something, nigga. But I mean, they said it's over. We going to see, though. You know, the pandemic. Pandemic has been boring. I've been running yeah. money up. But nah. You feel me? We going to see, though. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, the name Kai Bands. How did you come up with that? Shit, my name Kai. You feel me? The nigga just bands. You feel me? Everything bandway, bandica. You feel me? Nigga just keep a little rubber band on him. Yeah. Since a jit. You feel me? It's always been. It, when would you? What age did you say you first started to have a little cheese in your pocket? Shit, I remember. I don't know, but I really remember when I was like 16, I remember I touched like, I was like 15 or 16, I remember I touched like 1,500, I thought that was so much money, had a yeah. band 500, I'm like, oh my god, like, like, I'm making so much videos, doing hella shit, yeah. but yeah, nigga, I'd probably say my own little hustles and money, feel me, around like 15. Yeah. And that's a good feeling to have, buddy. That's Man. that's like high school. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, around <laughs> high school, for sure. I was shooting that's, dice. That's pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. When I was in high school, nigga, pockets wasn't looking too good. Nah, you had your ups and downs. I wasn't just always all oh, fifteen. I bet I'm up, nigga. Yeah. Thousands, like nah, but nah, nigga. So you when you fifteen, you know. Yeah, yeah, I just remember. Like that. You just you like I got out for the oh, fuck mama. around. So I just remember one time, nigga had fifteen. Uh, at that's, fifteen, that's, a, that's good. Nah. For sure. <laughs> um, can you talk about been paid? Who in, who not in, break it down to me. Feel me, being paid, you feel me? That's that's gang, you feel me? That's the bees, you feel me? BP, all that. That's the family, you feel me? I ain't gonna say gang, but you feel me? Yeah. Nigga, it's the bees, you feel me? It's it's a lot of niggas in there, niggas that you don't see, niggas that you see, you feel me? But shout out my nigga Mondo, Tay, you feel me? Wani, shout out my nigga, who else? Lil James, you feel me? It's hella niggas in there, you feel me? Shout yeah. out Keys, it's hella niggas though, but you feel me? But niggas be going crazy though, being paid. It's just you feel me. It's the family. It's the gangway. You feel me? Whatever. With the bees, niggas know. How did you come up with that? How was that created? Shit. It's just nigga. Niggas being. You feel me? Niggas just being having it. Niggas feel like young niggas. You just being having it. You feel me? You know niggas make they love. Hey, Lil, you feel me? Yeah. But nigga, we just, nigga, BP, you feel me? It's BP on mines. If, if you ain't got no cheese, you can't get in? Yeah. It ain't even, <laughs> but it ain't on, you feel me? It don't all go revolve around cheese, though, yeah. but you feel me? But yeah, it's young you niggas, little, niggas was having it, you feel me? Amongst amongst my niggas in my area, you feel me? We was having it, so yeah. we was being paid, you feel me? I, I seen that, that you said you love dice. <laughs> how how did you develop a love for dice? I had a thing for dice, shit. I want to say... My fresh, not even freshman year, but that's really when I started shooting. But like in the middle school, nigga learned out how to shoot dice. Went into high school, and nigga, niggas just took it on one. Nigga, niggas was shooting in the bathroom after school, before before football, after family, whatever practice, whatever. Niggas was just shooting. Started off at once, you know, little niggas, but yeah. nigga like the gamble. I'm like, oh yeah, this a come up right here. Might have <laughs> cracked the D game one time, but. Nah, I fuck with the dice you, stuff. You like playing in the casinos, or you only yeah, like? Yeah, for sure. I get to the casino every now and then. Got to fuck with the crap tables. You know how I be. What's the most you won in a dice game ever? In a dice street dice game or a casino? Either or. Shit, I won more from the streets. So I ain't gonna lie. The most I won in a dice game was like just a little three thousand, something soft. You feel yeah. me? But you feel me? That's dice cool game. <laughs> you might crack. Yeah. In the casino. I just turned 21 and 0 for real, but for real? yeah, so I just now got in the casino, Damn. but I hit the casino or something soft. I just I've only been there like five times, but nigga hit the casino like 2,000. Yeah. I don't see niggas really hit. I used, I, used a lot. I used to shoot a lot of dice. I never really shot dice in high school like that because uh -huh. I ain't had no money to, to fucking, uh, <laughs> to oh, afford to oh, waste out there. Niggas just using <laughs> much money. Cap, but... Like when I got older, I used to shoot hella craps in the casino. I just feel like I don't know. I just feel like they was busting my head though. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. You got your you take your losses. I ain't just always a winner. I don't post the L's. I post the W's though for surely. <laughs> now I play hella blackjack. That's my new shit. Yeah, hey, I fuck with the blackjack too. It's just I hate when they flip over that jack in the face. Be pulling out. It's a lot of shit the casinos. I'm starting to really feel like damn, these niggas really might be rigging this motherfucker. Tell me about it. I hate it. to feel that way. Fuck the casino, mama. A lot. <laughs> Nigga do be feeling like that. Uh, how did you get into music? Shit. Nigga was just had a feel for that shit for real. Like, 
watching niggas, watching videos when I was a little nigga, niggas coming up, whoever popping in the Bay Area or wherever, LA, wherever, feel me? Yeah. And then nigga just like, niggas be saucy for real, nigga, you feel me? So I'm like, I don't even remember, but I just start rapping like, fuck it. Wrote, wrote a little fuck around rapping and just took it on one because the niggas yeah. was like, oh, you tripping? So I'm like, you feel me? And I just start fucking with it. Yeah. Now you you was going you 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 came in going <laughs> stupid and you start running up a lot of views. Um, yeah, right what did on. what did it feel like when you got your first billion views? Man, the first meal, I remember I was just like, damn, a nigga hit a meal for real, like almost like too good to be true. I'm just like, damn, this shit crazy. It didn't really feel like hella nigga popped the bottle and did a little shit, yeah. might have kicked it or whatever. But but when you look back though, you feel me? A couple months down the road or something, you like. Damn, like, or when you drop something that don't do a million, you feel me? You like a million views hard. I ain't gonna lie, you yeah. feel me? So you gotta appreciate hey, for that. Sure shit. Puts it into perspective. For surely, it'll make you. Do you, do you ever get discouraged if you drop a video and it don't hit? If it don't hit like that? Nah, it's just like that's just not the one. You feel me? You gotta yeah. drop another one. You see what it do? You, right. Everything ain't gonna just always go up. You feel yeah. me? I ain't gonna lie. I for sure. I I, I won't. I won't be like mad, but it, if I drop an interview, sometimes I drop interviews. I'm, I feel like, damn, this shit gonna hit this in a day. Uh -huh. And I'll be like, damn. Nah, yeah, for sure. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like fuck. Oh, what am mama, I? nigga, gotta reevaluate. Like, <laughs> I'm like, oh. what, a, what the fuck did I do wrong? For sure. <laughs> uh, when you started rapping, was the, was the support there? Did people fuck with it off the rip? Yeah, motherfuckers was fucking with it. I ain't gonna lie, cause nigga. It was a lot of other niggas, was, not other niggas was rapping, but you feel me? Motherfuckers was fucking with it, though. Nigga, you feel me? Niggas been kind of known and shit, so it's just like when a nigga start rapping, the young age like, oh, you rapping too now? Yeah. Okay. And I'm going crazy, so it's almost like, oh, yeah. Oh, you really rapping, rapping. Yeah. Um, what I was going to say, uh, do you feel like you are the biggest rapper to come out of Fairfield? Man, right now, I'm going to just have to say, yeah, you feel me? Like, not even on no cocky shit or nothing it's hella niggas that be rapping in fearful but like who really going crazy and who really out there i ain't gonna lie I'm nigga trying to put on you feel me that nigga might hate to see it but you feel me y'all gonna have to love it though but nigga besides nigga fucking we had sage the gemini but yeah you feel me it don't be no real nobody out there that's reputable f from the field you feel me so yeah. i'll be i'll be having to let niggas know like it's niggas out here for you feel yeah. me i don't even think it's cocky to feel that way i feel like I feel like you should you should feel confident about that. Nah, yeah, for sure. Like, and for you got surely. the catalog to show for it. Oh, mamas, you feel, you feel me? me? Niggas is niggas. You ain't, just, you ain't just talking out the side of your neck. You yeah, put in like, the work. Yeah. You feel me? It's numbers on the board. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> nah, real shit. Um, would you say that uh, you felt like you was destined to do music, or was there other things that you were like into before? Man, at a time, like around when I hit them M's and shit. At one time, I did had that thought my something like. This shit damn near destined or something, you feel me? Like, nigga just going up, whether it's a freestyle on the gram or a video drop. And that back then, like, nigga wasn't even really, I ain't gonna say not trying. Nigga was trying, rapping, yeah. but, like, nigga just shoot a video. Fuck it, we over here thugging. Uh, yeah. Point and shoot, and then go up or something. Yeah. So it was just at one point, I officially thought that, though. I'm like, this shit destined or something. So, feel me? Nigga just had to take advantage of that shit for real. Yeah. Was it important for you to start your own YouTube early? Yeah, at the, yeah for surely. Now I look back at it on mamas. At the time, no, I I really was just on some like shit, nigga. You know when you coming out the blue, you gotta make a name for yourself, yeah. nigga. Like back then, nigga hit this like, like oh you gotta pay the drop. So for me back then, was, that was my only resort. So fuck it, I'm gonna make my own page and yeah. drop. But I wasn't really, I wasn't hella hella thinking, hella critical, like strategic, like oh yeah, this gonna work in the long run. But as I start maybe three, four videos on my page, I start thinking like okay. Nigga, take this somewhere. Nah, it, uh, it, it's like a it, it's a crazy balance when when you uh, especially when you trying to get into rap because you gotta create a buzz. So mm -hmm. you might need to drop a video on someone else's channel. But I yeah. feel like the deals with that shit gotta be worked out because it's like if if you drop a video on somebody's channel and it get a million, I feel like it gotta be some type of paperwork that say mm -hmm. you split the bread on that. Yeah, surely, even if you pay the nigga whatever to put it on, it's like nigga. If you made five bands and I gave you fucking a band, you got your money back, oh, nigga. Mama, so nigga, we really even. Oh, God. 
nigga, I thought you not lying. If that <laughs> motherfucker do numbers, nigga, shit, nigga gotta work something out. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Would you ever buy a feature? I mean, shit. Yeah, I wouldn't knock that shit. You feel me? You gotta invest in yourself, type shit. Yeah. But at first, coming up, you know it'd be you feel me. You gotta just. You feel me? I don't know, but you, nigga, yeah, I don't knock that shit though. But at first, coming up, nigga was like, I ain't buying no feature, but. Feel me? I didn't have to look like shit. It be niggas trying to come up. They might they buy a feature off me. You feel me? Cause yeah. it's gonna benefit them, and niggas gonna be the same thing. You feel me? I didn't seen hella niggas do it. Yeah. Niggas booming, but shit. For surely either buy a feature, nigga, or a good video or something to invest in yourself, yeah. type shit. Nah, invest, invest in yourself is key. Oh, um, mama. For sure. Um, who the people be saying you look like? They be saying anything. Y'all <laughs> niggas say anything. You niggas say blue face. You niggas say. <laughs> From SOB Lil G, you yeah. niggas didn't say I look like fucking Jaden Smith. You niggas didn't say <laughs> Karate Kid. Like what? You niggas didn't say what else niggas be saying? I don't know. Niggas be saying everything. <laughs> That's hella funny. I ain't gonna lie. You lucky a little bit like Lil G. Like a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. That stupid. <laughs> it's the grill too. I always got that one. <laughs> um... <laughs> How do you feel about NorCal music scene? You think it's, it's popping right now? You think it could be better? It's popping, I ain't gonna lie. Niggas doing their shit, everybody going crazy. Niggas know who going crazy. Yeah. It's popping, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, it's popping. But surely. Yeah. Niggas doing their shit. I kind of caused a little, I kind of caused a little controversy on accident. And niggas told me I was divided NorCal because um, I interviewed the homie TYS. And I basically asked him, who he felt was more popping between Oakland, I mean, not the Bay, and like Sack and Stockton or whatever. And he said he felt Sack was more popping. And, it, and it was hell. I got hell of a Niggas was like, nigga, you from you know the, the Bay. bay you gonna trip. I'm you know. like, nigga, I'm from the Bay. I, nigga, I, don't, I don't necessarily want them to be more popping, but like, oh, mama. They, got a little, they got a wave. Like, yeah, like, nigga. Niggas going crazy, Bay, Sack, everybody going crazy. Niggas I'm like, all NorCal going crazy. Yeah, but like, as a whole. They ain't never had that much, like, attention. And, uh, from, and, like, it's a, it's a couple of niggas doing their thing. Yeah, they for surely going crazy, the crazy. They always been the big brother, though, you feel me? Like, oh, mamas. Um, if someone never heard your music, which song would you tell them to listen to? I'm going to say go slap that big boy status, you feel me? Yeah. Or go slap that, I ain't stressing. You gon' you might fuck with one or the other, but you yeah, one of them two though for surely. Oh mamas. Can you tell me about the first time you smoked weed and got high? Or the first time you got really high? Man, I was this nigga. I mean, I'm talking about <laughs> niggas young for real, nigga smoke a swisher, niggas even know how to roll the motherfucker. I must have twisted him. We got high and walked to the store. Boy, niggas was loaded. I'm talking about niggas was laughing at everything. Niggas is <laughs> Niggas is seeing shit in the sky. Niggas yeah. is doing hella shit, boy. I, it's, man. My first time getting high, I really don't even remember like getting high like that. It was the second time I knew I was high. Mm, the sure. first time I didn't feel like I even knew what high was. Niggas love it. They used to get the munchies, like that part. That shit don't be happening like that no more though. Like it's just so yeah. normal. Like Oh mama, it do be normal. <laughs> like niggas body just get hella used to the shit. But you'll still get the munchies, though. I ain't gonna lie. Nigga, so, still. So, nigga just be hungry in general. <laughs> um, um, do you sip lean? Yeah, I don't sip hella heavy, though. You feel me? Like, I'm not. I sip every now and then when a nigga feel like it. Yeah. But uh, I don't have no heavy sipper for real. What about perks? Yeah, I fuck with him. I ain't gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I, fuck I with had him. a few perks, too. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, mamas. I, just, <laughs> I ain't gonna have a. I make a nigga feel pretty damn good. I ain't gonna oh, lie. mamas. <laughs> I just don't be trying to advertise that shit for Not real. For like, sure. you know, yeah. motherfuckers, generation just looking up, they like, oh, this the cool thing to do. Everybody, type shit, but. It, it ain't got too, like, man. It ain't got too public. It ain't got too public sides. So it's like. That shit is serious off the irky earth. You feel me? Nah, for sure. Okay. I just said, uh, I don't know what bro was on, but it was an actor that died. I forgot his name. Yeah, niggas but he died recently. Dying off that fentanyl. Y'all yeah, gotta be niggas smooth just, out niggas here. playing around with the fentanyl and shit. Y'all like, gotta be smooth. That shit's not cool. Um, uh, as far as like getting into the streets, can you explain <sighs> how that happened? Shit. Really just thugging, like, feel me in my section. Niggas was thugging, so I'm just. 
nigga just start thugging, you feel me? Like, yeah. it wasn't on no, like, nigga, that's just who I was around. Nigga, it just, feel me, happened to be like that. But, yeah, nigga just was thugging. Like, looking, looking back on it, is there, like, something else you, you wish you would have put your put your time into or you or you feel like that just kind of was what it was? Like, you was playing sports or, like, Man, yeah. that's just, I mean, nigga could have, everybody could probably think College, like, I don't know. Yeah, like, you feel me? But, like, that's, you know, you feel me, nigga, what you said? Like, nigga just put their time over there, so, nigga, just outside, thugging, yeah. smoking, whatever, you feel me? Yeah. Shooting dice, you feel me? So, nigga just migrated to that. And then yeah. as you get older, nigga, elevate, adapt to shit, and you just rolling, you feel yeah. me? Yeah. Do you feel like. A lot of people that like you you knew early on, like before you was popping. Do you see like a lot of those same people around you, or like did some niggas turn on you? Some niggas switch sides. Like, man, I mean, every nigga in BP, you feel me? Them niggas been around since the sandbox. But nigga, besides that, like nigga, you feel me? Just been having nigga had some snakes before. Nigga had some niggas backstabbing. Nigga then got cut off. Whatever, you feel me? You know, nigga go through ups and downs in life, but yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. How do you deal with people that that backstab you or do some snake shit? He's gonna cut the fuck off, nigga. Damn near about to die or something, nigga. Like, ain't gonna say all that, but you feel me? It gets serious, like yeah. man. Nah, nigga, I don't do that snake shit or backstabbing. Like, if you round, nigga, you supposed to be can't fuck. You feel me? Supposed to be nigga locked in, nigga. Yeah. Fuck you around for if you a snake, nigga. Yeah. Uh, were you ever signed to Thizzler? Like, what happened? What, what was it? Like the y'all had a deal or what? Uh, nah. I, in the past, I never signed with them before. I just got in some little shit with them not too long ago. I ain't gonna lie, you feel me? Yeah. Shout out to Thizzler. I fuck with them, you feel me? But yeah, I just got in a little, feel me? Little negotiation with them, driving yeah. some shit, going crazy. You feel me? Trying to. Elevate. Sorry, or what was you about to do? I'm already in a little thing. Okay. I ain't gonna lie, in a little deal thing, going crazy. But uh, yeah, it don't be like you feel me. I ain't gonna get into it, but it don't be how people be thinking. Like, oh, you sign? Like, oh, you fuck? Or yeah. you feel me? It just nigga gotta go crazy. Yeah. Drop some shit. Yeah. Get to working. Yeah. And keep it moving. Yeah. Uh, as far as the the music business, how would you t- how would you say the your experience has been like? It's been a lot of good business. It's been bad business. Oh, shit. It's cool business. You feel me? Everybody, I fuck with you. Feel me? I fuck with you. Feel me? Niggas who fuck with me, they feel me. They already know what time it is. But yeah. uh, it's cool business. You feel me? You know how I be though. You can't do business with everybody, yeah. and everybody be on their own little hype or wave type shit. But yeah, you feel me? My business cool though. How serious do you think it is with like uh? Doing songs with different people, like, are there certain people that you know you can't do songs with because you feel like it would make somebody else mad, or like, do you operate like that, or what? In a way, yeah, because you feel me. If you fuck with somebody, you fuck with somebody, so you feel me. You some certain politics be you feel me. They already be turned up, so you already know not to dive in somebody else shit if it's yeah. already fired up. But nigga, majority of the parts you feel me, a nigga ain't gonna really just go. Jump in somebody or get on somebody's song if it's bad. You feel me? If it's green light, it's green light. But nigga, yeah. most of the time, you feel me? Nigga could work on some just music shit and keep it like that. All right, boop or what? It you can't feel just me? be just music. Motherfuckers music. always try to. Music in the streets be so intertwined. It'd be like, oh, God mama, damn. That shit <laughs> locked in. Yeah. <laughs> um, you just dropped a new song, uh, Crazy Off the Rip. Um, what was the mindset for that one? Man, I ain't gonna lie, I really, ooh, I damn near kicked the camera, I really, uh, I really damn near freestyled that motherfucker, yeah. nigga just beat came on, nigga just like, going crazy off the rip, you feel me, nigga just wrote that in the stool like 20 minutes, Yeah. dropped that motherfucker, Yeah. and did it moving like that. Shit slap. Right on, gang. <laughs> what, what can we expect coming up soon? Man, I got some big shit coming, I ain't gonna lie, you feel me. Some shit that's going to turn, going to flame the streets back up. But uh, I got some shit coming, though. I ain't going to lie. You, my niggas might need to wake up. You feel me? <laughs> you think they sleep on you? Just a little bit. I ain't going <laughs> to lie. Just a little bit. We're going to wake him up, though. Oh, mamas.
your new project out now, uh, Fuck the Critics. Um, why the name? Shit. Back then, Fuck the Critics. Oh, yeah. Shit, nigga, really just, you feel me? You know what a critic is, you feel me? Fuck the critics, niggas who hate, nigga. Dick sucking, bitches who fagging, yeah. bossy, whoever, you feel me? Whoever a critic, whoever. Yeah. On a negative side, it's just middle finger, you feel me? It's fuck the critics. Yeah. If you're not a critic, it's not is fuck it, you. Is it hard for you to channel out, like, that noise from, because you know, even when I realize niggas are always going to have an opinion, you feel For sure. And a lot of the times... Niggas, when it's some, when it's some like hating shit, niggas will go out their way to send a long ass message. All oh, hate you like, you like nigga, you still put all that time in, bro. All that time to just <laughs> argue through the phone or some or nigga call the nigga or some nigga, or, but nah, for surely, motherfuckers be crazy. Bro, when you put in a project together, like what's the process? You making a whole bunch of songs or shit. Really, I ain't gonna lie. All my projects, unless I already got uh, something in mind, then really I'm just going, not going with the flow, but a nigga just really in the stool, catching off vibes, just making songs, consistent and then shit. I might look back and then grab all the songs, like, okay, this one, this one, this one. These could gather up and be a little tape, you feel me? But yeah. then if I'm coming in, like, already got a name for the tape, already know what type of wave I'm trying to get to. Then a nigga gonna stay on that side. But usually I'm just consistent with it, just making songs and then put together that tape. Yeah. Is, is it only you picking the songs or you you got your people help you out or like what's that process? Yeah, I pick the songs and I have my people help me out, my niggas and shit for Shelly. Yeah. Gang and then be like, this one no go, this one green, you feel me, this slab, yeah. whatever. Can you take criticism? For yeah, people for that you, you value what their, their criticism is? Yeah, for Shelly, you got to cause shit. Nigga, you gonna hear it one way or another, just like we said. Somebody yeah. always gonna say something, but it's better off to hear from your peoples. You feel me? If they your peoples, then you put that shit out there to the public, and then nigga, they saying it. Nigga, now you like them. Yeah. But so, feel me? I for sure could take criticism. You need that shit. Not real shit. Uh, what would you say is the biggest difference between fuck the critics and pissed off? <sighs> shit, fuck the critics. I ain't gonna lie, them near just. I wouldn't say I just gather some songs, but I kind of just put a little tape out there, not really knowing where a nigga going for real. Just like, all right, I'm gonna just put a tape out. Yeah. Boom, bop. Pissed off a nigga, uh, or the other one, a nigga damn near knew what type of wave I was going for, like turned up shit, shit that's knocking, slapping. So it was all on. They was all on the same page. How you feel about like everything that we've been seeing with the coronavirus? They saying it's it's another version of it out or some shit like that. That you shit scared? crazy. I ain't, I wouldn't say a nigga scared. Nigga just awoke for real. Like that shit crazy though for real. Like nigga the world niggas don't be really seeing a bigger picture, but that shit be crazy. Though. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. But uh, that shit sick. You take know. the vaccine. Shit. The way it's looking, nigga, my hat to nigga. <laughs> I just said that. I was thinking that earlier. <laughs> Only reason I it, it's some real shit though. I was trying to go to the Raiders game when they play the Ravens, yeah. but they said you can't go unless you got a vaccine. See, I was and they just, said they're giving out vaccines at the game. See, that's that shit. You, I'm like, what the nigga fuck? might have to. That's that's what the world. And I was just in the city, nigga. Nigga trying to go eat, just you walking around. You can't even unless you vaccinated. So I'm like. Damn, imagine if everything like that. We got no that's choice. We gonna have no <laughs> choice. That's what I feel like the direction they're gonna take it. That's in. what I'm seeing. That's why I'm like, shit, the way it's looking, nigga might add to. Yeah, nah, it's just kinda crazy. <laughs> to think that they all gonna force niggas to take a shot. Like that niggas crazy. really still don't know what's in that shit. It's shit brazy. <laughs> uh, outside of outside of music, what would you say your hobbies are? Shit. First thing popped in my mind, gamble. Yeah. But shit. <laughs> <laughs> nigga probably travel. Nigga be trying to just get outside for real. Yeah. Travel. It's the places you want to go. Shit. Already, I don't know for real. Really anywhere, but 
Nigga trying to go to like Jamaica and shit. Nigga yeah. trying to go like. My homie just went there actually. He said that shit was nice. Oh, was smoking man. weed and hella shit. Jamaican mm-hmm. weed. Vibes. <laughs> Shout out Bob Marley and him. He Jamaican, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's me vibes, nigga. Uh, aliens or ghosts? You believe in that? I believe in. Uh, I believe in aliens. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Not too many ghosts. You seen one? I ain't seen no alien. I seen the shooting star shit. Okay. But that ain't no motherfucker. <laughs> Not no alien. Man. But nigga, nah, I believe in aliens for surely. Wow. The motherfucking world, galaxy, this shit big as hell, nigga. Yeah. It's something out there. <laughs> yeah, Not for surely. Sure. Uh, the, the, really, the world is too big for sure. <laughs> oh, mama. Um, if you could pick yourself to be any animal in the world, what would it be and why? Uh, shit. Oh, shit, this shit. I'd probably be... I'm staying down, nigga. I don't know. I'm either being a lion, nigga, a gorilla, or something, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, some feel me. Some that whole weight, you yeah. feel me? Nah, for sure. Uh, what advice would you give to up and coming artists? Shit. <laughs> really, just stay on your grind, nigga. Just go crazy for real and be consistent, type shit, nigga. You gotta have work ethic. Like, if you don't got no work ethic, then you just going to be just rapping type shit. Nigga, you got to be trying to go in a direction or something. You feel me? Yeah. Do you have any advice on what people can do to help themselves stand out? You feel me? Like, shit. Right nowadays, everybody want to sound like another person. For sure. Shit, I'll probably say do something different nigga if you ain't doing something different you just blending in feel me with the yeah. peoples but nigga shit unless you trying to be a troll or a little one of them niggas that's just clout chasing trying to yeah. just boom but nigga if you're really trying to get there on some legit shit you feel me you gotta just think outside the box for real and do something different yeah niggas be doing the same shit out here yeah real shit um as a kid you had a favorite cartoon the Boondocks for surely. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. I, I need to, they need to make a new uh, season of that Man, shit. Man, mama didn't That's keep long that shit. Everybody will watch that shit. <laughs> uh, do you look at comments? Uh, here or near. Do you respond? Nah, I don't really. I mean, it'd be 90% of the time. If it's some, feel me, good or bad. If it's a reputable nigga or a real nigga, you feel me? I'm going to either acknowledge what's up or, feel me, you might respond, but. If it's some fake shit or some little fully page or a little random, I ain't re- me, I don't really be responding. Hell yeah. I had to catch my Lily just yesterday. Nigga, nigga commented some crazy ass shit. I'm like, I almost sat there and really. <laughs> nah, it be like that, but you be like, it's motherfucker. <laughs> catch yourself. I had like, to really catch. Uh, no, like, I really just caught. Yesterday, I just called myself. Nigga sent me a whole paragraph, but I was just like, this nigga literally taking time to send this big ass message. Oh, mama, and ninety percent of the time, if you respond, you feel me? You really making them happy? Like, oh, yeah. you responded. Yeah. <laughs> you don't, I don't respond. respond to shit on, I don't on be the YouTube. I'm like, yeah, say what you gotta say, bro. You know, YouTube, I ain't responding. Instagram, you might catch me, but <laughs> Instagram, I'll be like, you niggas are dumb as fuck. Oh, mama. I'm like, who are you, bro? Who like, are you? Half of them motherfuckers ain't never seen you in my exactly. life. Exactly. We'll never see you. Who are you? And if I did, you probably you would definitely <laughs> wouldn't speak on nothing. Get fat down. <laughs> Uh, what is what would you say is the difference between a fan and someone who dick riding? A fan, good good fan behavior or bad fan behavior? Good fan behavior. All right, a fan is like somebody who fuck with your shit. They support your shit. You feel me, nigga? They they rocking with you. You feel me? A dick rider. If you dick ride, nigga, you on some dick riding shit, like nigga. Like, come on now, my nigga. Like, niggas would be dick riding. You niggas just out here just... That shit explain itself. You feel me? You just dick riding, nigga. What the fuck is you doing? I feel like I feel like it's a lot of that going on, too, for sure. For sure. It be niggas out here on tricycles, nigga. <laughs> riding that motherfucker. You niggas is weird. Do you have a favorite clothing line? Your shit. Favorite shit you like to wear? A favorite... I wear whatever you feel me. I'll make some drip, nigga. But if we talking about some designer, nigga, fuck with favorite designer. Probably say Off White go crazy. Yeah. Gucci Burberry, that shit go crazy. But uh, I wear whatever. If I like it, I'ma grab it. You feel me? I'ma make that motherfucker the bus. Yeah. On mamas. 
Do you think like expensive ass designer be worth it all the time? No, I was just talking about this with gang and I'm like, bro, it's a difference between nigga who got drip and a nigga who just got the right shit on. You feel yeah. me? A nigga have all the designer shit, you just got the right shit on. Then it's a nigga who could throw a white tee with a uh, with a little bit of uh, and they fit might not cost that much, but they dripping harder than you because they yeah. put it together. Yeah. Rather than a nigga who just got the shit on, you just got it on. Yeah. You like, you're not really dripping. Nah, shit. Uh, what would you say inspires you? Shit, hella shit. In a way, I try to inspire myself, but that's on some. You feel me? But really, it's a, it's hella shit that inspires nigga. I see the next nigga going crazy, like this nigga going crazy. Nigga, I need to go crazy, or you feel me? I see the next nigga turned up, or rock out a show, or nigga fired up, or. Doing whatever, I'm like, okay, he going crazy. I need to go crazy. So it's hella little shit that is. I ain't no hating ass nigga for real. You feel yeah. me? Hella little shit inspired KB, me. Man. On mama's. Tables always turning. On mama's. A nigga, you gotta let. I feel like you got let a nigga get his shine. You feel me? Mm. And not like I don't, the shine don't last forever either. So that part. Let him have his time. You never know. Your your time could be next, but if you just hated on a nigga the whole time, like you really want to be that nigga. Yeah. You want to be the nigga friend, or yeah. you want a handshake or something. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what do you say is the biggest lesson you learned in the music industry? Shit, I probably say the biggest. Everybody ain't rocking for the right cause. You feel me, like? Or yeah, everybody ain't rocking for the right cause. Biggest lesson, like nigga, you got niggas who rocking, or niggas who trying to work or do some music shit for the right cause, and you got niggas who you feel me. For the wrong cause, yeah. but you feel me? You just gotta know. You feel me? Stay sharp, stay on your toes, and nigga, you ain't gone. Cause you feel me? A nigga could come around, nigga, just trying to work, do hella songs. You feel me? And then nigga, I'm like, fuck is we really doing or something? Yeah, there ain't no true connection or nothing. Yeah, so it's like you gotta just yeah. play your cards right, go crazy, do your shit. What do you think has changed in your music over the years? I feel like, I feel like my shit, nigga, for surely elevated. You feel me, nigga? Bars, feel me, getting up there again, saucier. But uh, over the years, man, I don't know. I play some ocean, be like, damn, I was tripping back then. You feel me? Yeah. And then I play some new shit, be like, oh, this slap, but I don't know. You know, shit, niggas elevate, shit change. You feel me? Yeah. You might, nigga, might. Sing, start off singing, nigga. Now you yeah. rapping, or nigga might start off rapping. Now you yeah. feel me, but my shit, my shit, all in the same boat. If yeah. you know the Kai Ben's way, you yeah. feel me? My shit, Slapper. all in the same boat. <laughs> <laughs> Who did your chain? Uh, shout out Mike and Ice and them nigga in Texas. Uh, uh you feel me? You be doing hello nigga shit right on gang, but shit, yeah, <laughs> I had uh straight through Zell and shit. He just sent that motherfucker. I ain't even go out there. For now. real. Oh, mamas. Can we expect a new piece coming soon? Oh, yes, for sure. We finna be a new little piece. I got an upgrade. I got this like three years ago. I had this for, for real? a minute now. When you got it, you was hella juice. Oh, I was hella juice. I'm like, ooh. I'm holding it up. I'm doing hella shit. Now I'm like, I need something a little bit fatter. Yeah. Any goals for the rest of the year? Shit. Nigga just trying to run up these thousands. But nah, besides that, nigga. Nigga. Elevate, keep going crazy, stay out the way, stay in my bag, nigga, nigga survive, nigga, you gotta survive in life, but shit, yeah, really do hella shit, nigga just trying to do hella shit for real, yeah, go crazy, I'll be out the way in my own bag, just, you feel me, in my own lane, yeah, nigga just trying to go crazy in whatever, anyway, shape, form, nigga, yeah, for my final question, I want to ask you, what advice would you give to the younger Kai Benz? I would have told that nigga like I would have told my younger self like shit you going crazy but go a little bit more crazy or you feel me nigga could be probably two three a couple steps ahead you but, think there was things that held you back from that or uh, in a way but I just say nigga just was going crazy not really realizing a nigga was going that crazy you feel me yeah. like like I'm saying, I'm just, are right, we finna shoot a video, rocking, rolling, and then nigga, it's just going up on the low, or do a meal, or do a couple hundred K, and then nigga, you feel me, you 
drop some new shit, you like, this shit is hard to do them numbers again, you feel me? Yeah. But you just so gotta I stay like consistent. Like I'll be like, God damn. Man, it'd be like when you least expect it to, or when you're not even trying, you just. <laughs> and, that, and, that, and, that, and that'd be, that's some real shit though, because I'll drop videos and I'll be like, I probably won't do too much. So I'm like, damn. Yo, niggas mama. like that one. I thought niggas would have loved this one Yo, over here. Mama. But at the end of the day, it's kind of like you—you you never really know. I should hit or miss for sure. <laughs> Do you have any final words for your fans, for your supporters? Yeah, you feel me? We locked in with Innovator, all that. If you fuck with me, I'll fuck with you. You know, Manica, nigga, but shit, nigga, music dropping soon. Hella shit coming. You feel me? Nigga, about to turn it back up on niggas. Hella little shit. But yeah, we out here. Hell yeah. Dope interview on the way. We got Kai Bands right here. Give me your Instagram so they know where to follow you. Yeah, Ben Pay Kai. You feel me? Ben Pay. You got your Instagram Kai. back. Yo, mama, my shit got <laughs> deleted. You feel me? Fuck Instagram. I remember that. <laughs> Yo, Instagram was on some weird shit. Hell yeah. Kai Bands in the studio. I oh, appreciate mamas. you for pulling up. Dope interview on the way for sure. For sure. You're locked in with the innovators. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell.